Hello friends, my name is Kishan and welcome you in this video tutorial. In this video we are going to discuss about the Spring Data JPA repositories. Uh, the goal of a Spring Data repository abstraction is to uh, significantly reduce the amount of boilerplate code required to implement data access layers for various persistence stores. So here I have given the brief uh, description in other, in other words you can say a spring data JPA it is a part of a spring data family aims to provide the JPA based repositories that aims to, aims to simplify the implementation of data access layer using JPA uh, now a spring data repositories uh, when you are working with a spring data technologies uh, it is important to understand the repository's concept. A Spring Data provides the abstract report repositories that are implemented at runtime by the Spring Container and perform the CRUD operation. As a, as a developer, you have to just provide the abstract methods in the interface. This reduces the amount of boilerplate code required to write uh, data access layers. So in previous video tutorial we had seen uh, how the way we had created the repository uh, repository right so basically uh, when you use a spring boot with a spring boot uh, with a spring data jpa then basically uh, i mean doll layer we create a, an interface and that is called custom interface by extending some kind of a spring data uh, provided interface like you have a repository, a CRUD repository uh, or you can extend with the paging and uh, some kind of uh, uh, paging and uh, and sorting uh, kind of uh, uh, interface which is pre-existing interface and once you create an interface by existing this uh, ex uh, pre-existing interface then your uh, interface will be considered as a repository and you, you can perform some kind of basic CRUD operation on the top of that if you want to create some new method then in your interface you need to add your own method so how so in this video tutorial we are not going to look into how we can add our own method rather we'll see how we can create our own repository by extending some pre-existing interface in Spring Data JP now uh, there are following three base interfaces defined in the spring data commons project so first interface we would like to talk that is repository it is the central interface in the spring data repository abstraction this is a marker interface so this interface does not contain any api or method if you are extending this interface you have to declare your own methods and the implementations will be provided by the spring runtime for this interface also we have to pass two uh, parameters type of the entity and type of the entity's id field this is the super interface for crud repository so in previous video tutorial a spring restful web services uh, we had seen there we have used a spring uh, a spring uh, data JPA and there we had used CRUD repository if you would have remember so basically CRUD uh, repository extend repository so there is some inheritance kind of relationship now second uh, uh, repo uh, re repository interface is called CRUD repository so just I was talking about that so CRUD repository provides methods for the CRUD operations so what do you mean by CRUD so when you have a application and your application basically performs some kind of your basically your DAW layer uh, basically interact with the database and you would want to create some kind of uh, uh, some kind of record into the database so, so that's the C C stands for create R stands for you would like to read some data from the database that's the read uh, if you have some data already in the data store or database and you would want to update some record that's the update and uh, final d stands for delete if you would want to do some kind of deletion in the data store that's the d so that and uh, this acronym represents as a crud operation 
uh, basically the CRUD repository interface extends the repository interface as we have just talked when you define CRUD repository you have to pass the two parameters type of the entity and type of the uh, entities ID field this interface has the following methods so when you extend if you look into the uh, CRUD repository now you can see when you create your own repository by extending this interface then you need to pass the entity class and entity class uh, uh, is have uh, entity class primary key ref the type you will have to pass right so this class is having a lot of methods uh, most of the methods i have listed in this slide and if you go to the source code then you can see this class is having a method uh, like uh, uh, save if you want to save the entity into the data store then this saves into the data store and that will return the same object right and if you want to save i mean collection of entities then you have another save overloaded method if you want to retrieve uh, entity i mean class uh, if you want to retrieve some rows from the database based on the identifier or id so that's we have a find one if you want to check i mean some rows row is already existing with the some specified id then you can check by exist method if you want to retrieve all entity all records from the database that's all about the find all this will return the iteration of uh, your entity class object and uh, we have uh, something which called you can uh, pass i mean collection of ids or collection of primary keys and this will return you the uh, corresponding uh, uh, corresponding entity class iter uh, iterable object if you want to check uh, i mean if you want to check how many records are exist in your database that's about the count this returns the number of entities available in the your database if you want to re uh, delete some records based on the id then that's all about that if you want to pass some entity and that entry you want to remove from the underlying data store that's all so these two are the overloaded method one is deletes the data based on the id another is uh, based, based on the entity you pass and similarly you can pass the collection of entity object and all uh, all objects will be deleted from the underlying data store and delete all this will basically delete all records from your database so basically if you look into this interface this interface contains the all basic methods which is, which is required to perform the some kind of basic CRUD operation but on the on the top of that if you want some your own customized method so how we can add uh, some uh, suppose if you create an uh, your your repository by extending this interface then you can inherit this all interface which is basically valid for the basic CRUD operation on the top of that if you want to define your own method that we will see in the next video series so that's all about the uh, CRUD operation uh, CRUD repository now uh, here I have given if you are extending the CRUD repository there is no need for the implementing your own methods right if you are adhere with the basic operation in that case just extend this interface and leave it as blank required implementation are provided at runtime so here you can create your own repository like uh, in this slide you can see I have created a book repository that extends JPA repository or here you will have a CRUD repository you can say and here you need to pass the entity class and entity class primary key data type now we have here we have used JPA repository which is a special version uh, version is specific to the JPA technology unless and until you are using a, 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 any of the JPA specific things in your application it is highly recommended to use the CRUD operation because it will not tie your application with any specific store implementation so as I said in this slide so if you are not uh, looking for the any JPA specific uh, functionality in your repository then your repository class should extend with the uh, like CRUD uh, repository interface so he, uh, else your repository will be the uh, tightly coupled with the underlying data store so that's the key point so just I wanted to point out over here now third kind of repository interface we have a, a paging and sorting repository so basically this repository class basically uh, is the extension of CRUD rep repository 
means uh, this uh, interface extends CRUD repository. It is a specialized version for the paging and sorting operation. If you want to, if you want, if you, you want to retrieve uh, uh, collection of records from the underlying data store and uh, while retrieving those records, if you want some kind of sorting or pagination kind of functionality, then you can create your own repository by extending this uh, interface, right? And this interface again takes a uh, entity class as well as primary key as an argument uh, in the generics. So here, uh, uh, basically, this uh, in a repository again extends current repository, and this contains only two methods, right? Find all, find all, which takes sort and argument. So here, you can specify how we want to uh, perform the sorting kind of operation. Basically, you need to pass the uh, your uh, entity class property based on who, which you want the record to be sorted. And here, second um, overloaded method. Here you can pass the uh, page table. So here you can implement by using second method you can implement the pagination kind of functionality. So here if you look into the, so here you can see you have a and uh, paging and sorting repository which contains two methods. So first method basically it uh, helps you to sort the records based on the certain properties and second uh, will help you to implement the some kind of page pagination mechanism so what is pagination and all we'll see practically in the next video series now what's the difference between jpa repository and current repository that i would like to discuss over here so in this uh, basically in this video uh, we have seen uh, all three kinds of kind of repository right uh, now just what's the difference between current repository and jpa repository so uh, I will uh, I will I will discuss what's the differences between uh, a Spring Data JPA uh, CRUD repository and JPA repository interfaces. Both of them can be used as a parent interface for our repository, but they are not the same. So before we jump into the differences, it's good to know why we using these interfaces in the first place. There are two reasons for that. Uh, Extending these interfaces allows a Spring to find your repository interfaces and create uh, proxy objects for them that you can inject later on into your bins. Now, second point is provides you uh, with methods that allow you to perform some common operations without the need to declare these methods yourself. Now, what are the differences then? When Talk, uh, when talking about the differences of the current repository and JPA rep repository, it is a good idea to take a third interface into accounts and that is pa paging and sorting repository just we have discussed. This is, the, uh, th uh, this is because these interfaces the following inheritance uh, uh, hierarchy between them. If you look into over here, so here you can see JPA extends. Uh, paging and sorting repository again this interface extends current repository again, again current repository extends uh, repository so there is some inheritance kind of relationship with there so the CRUD uh, the uh, CRUD repository interface provides the uh, basic methods of CRUD operations so it allows you to create read update delete records without having to define your own methods the paging and paging and sorting repository provides additional methods to retrieve entities using pagination and sorting finally the jpa repository adds some more functionality that that is specific to the jpa so generally the best idea is to use crud repository or paging and sorting repository depending on the whether you need sorting and paging or not the jpa repository should be avoided if possible because it ties your repository to the JPA persistence technology and in most cases you probably would not even use the extra methods provided by it. So that's all I wanted to discuss in this video tutorial guys. So in next video we will come up with the some uh, new things about the Spring Data JPA. Till that thanks for watching this video and see you next video tutorial.